Hello, my beautiful people. I'm back again, as promised, to share with you guys what I came up with my starfish ornaments, my silver dollar sand um, ornaments, and I'm going to also use some of these sh um, shells also. But they're going to be very simple, but this is what I want for my Christmas. Um, this might probably be a part two because I also want to share with you guys of the ones that I made um, years ago. Um, I know I took a couple of pictures of them, but um, I want you to actually see it, you know, individual. And it's made me give you a little detail what I did with them. So let's get started. Um, what I did was, I already got two completed, and it looks like this. This is the um, starfish, that's my cardboard. I don't know if this is gonna help more, but I just wanna show you. This is one of them. Let me see if you can get a better look. But the light in here is horrible. Okay, that's one. And I'll tell you what I use. And this is the other one. The only difference between these two starfish, and that's how I'm going to alternate. I'm going to use um, the centerpiece are going to be different, but the, the, the bling leaves are going to be the same, the way I have it set up. So I'm only changing the center. So all my starfish is going to look like that. All right. And then for my sand dollar, uh, silver dollar um, shells, they're going to look like this. I'm not making, I, I, you know, I came up with some different things, but I was actually covering the whole um, silver dollar sand. And that's the whole purpose is to have being recognized. That's what it is. So what I did is I try to work in the middle of it. So I came out with that. And, and that's how all of them is going to look. I just think I'm not going to do anything different. So uh, the details on these is using for the starfish. I'm going to bring you a little closer so I can show you what I used. Nope, let me go back. Okay. For the starfish, what I did was... I have one already. Oh, no, I don't have one. But you know how these, guys, it, just before I begin, you know these little um, button blinks? If you know where I can order, see, these are my stash, and I have them for years. And trust me, I have so much, but I noticed I've been using it a lot, so I'm going low on it, and I cannot remember the link uh, where I bought it at, or uh, what's the name of it. If you know, please comment below, because I am, and I, I desperately need some of these more because I use this a lot, okay? So what I did was I attached my flat pearl beads. And this is for the beginners. So just in case, you know, the van's saying, you know, I know that part. But, you know, we got beginners that are starting to learn. So we have to, we have to think about them too. And I, what I did is I only glued the middle line that's between the circle. And I just put my flat beads right on there. And yes, you're going to get a lot of glue strings. You just clean that out. Once it dries up, you can just clean it, you know, just clean it out. And then, so what I did was, I just, oh, before that, I don't know if you noticed, you know how the um, um, starfish, they come, the original come like a beige color. It's natural color of the, of the starfish. So what I did was, I brushed it a little bit with white. Then I used, um, a mop potch and I dip it on diamond dust this thing is so if you get this make sure you get the clear one not the white ones because it shows so much better when you use the clear I got this at Michael's you know we're using my 50% off but I also saw it on Amazon so you can get it in you know in any two of those places so that's what I did with all my starfish and my silver um dollar stands also now with the seashells I only put glitter but I'm going to show you how I get that effect with the um, diamond dust okay so I'm going to leave that a little last I just wanted to show you how I which is simple it's very simple I just want to share what I did so what, I, um, what I'm going to do now is I'm, I already mount my bling in the middle. I'm going to do one of these and then I'm going to use one of the different ones that it looks like this. I think I show you guys this. I got it on Amazon. I'll put the link below so you can see they are very, very beautiful. 
It has a lot of pearls, but little dots of diamonds. They look like gold to silver. It's weird, but it's beautiful. And I don't know if you can see that. So I'm going to do two at the same time. So I just glue some glue stick in here. Okay, just press it down. And then these little pieces... This part right here, it came from this beautiful branch that I had in my stash. You know, on Christmas holidays, when it's over, they bring down their price from 72 cents. Best time to go. And I was lucky to find one of these. I'm hoping I can find more the next, you know, this year um, after Christmas. Or even before sometime they have a sell. But I wait till the 72 cents and take that chance. But this is where I get my my uh, my little leaves. So what I do is I click with my scissors. I just click the little piece right here so I can work with one. Because one is going to um, give me enough. Because I'm only using four. So what I'm doing is I'm clipping it off. So I have one. I have um, some over here. I might as well use those. Two. Some of them are a little slanted, that way you could just peel it off and paste it back in the center, right? Because the, the blinks happen to be like off center of that gold little leaf. And I need one more. So I, when I click them off, I don't leave a stent, a little stent. So try just to click as fast because you're going to tuck this inside um, your starfish. So I'm going to start with the first one. Maybe a little boring for you know for your advance, but it helps and give you some ideas that it is easy to do. Oh, I make damn it's turning. Okay, I'll make sure you guys got this. So I'm gonna go around with it real fast, so I don't have to bore you to that. So I can go to the next one, guys. It might be a part two. Definitely be a part two because I have some past ornaments that I made years ago that I will also like to share, even though you saw them, but not actually on a video. So I'm going to share on the second part video. What I'm doing is I'm gluing each pet, well, each of the spot um, fish legs and going around tucking it into that centerpiece. And I have one more. Just put a dot of glue, that's what you need. And I do is I tuck it in. Oh, I need one more. What am I talking about? Okay. All right. I know I took a piece from my scissors. Here we go. So you see how they have that stand? Go all the way. You don't need that because you need room to um, tuck in. And make sure when you do it, do it on the pointy sides. That shows out. All right. So I'm going to put some glue here and we'll go to the next one. And this is it. This is your look. Look how beautiful. You don't have to do anything. And I and I and I like I always do. I put pictures in the end of the video so you can get a better look of it. So for some reason this light is horrible. So what I did here is exactly what I did with um, what I'm using with uh, another starfish. So I'm only doing two different centerpiece but everything else is going to be the same they already coated with my diamond dust because I and then just so you know when it dry, when you do your first diamond um, dust on it if you want to seal it go back with my patch and then it won't you know you don't have to worry about it's coming out because you know when you store it away or move it it kind of you know shake off now by sealing it, it it's a lifetime and i think um my body is acid free i'm not sure about that but it don't turn you out because i i had to, i use that a lot all right so i'm not gonna do the show you the uh second slosh using that center because it's the same thing um with the sand dollar what i did also i did the same thing i coated it before um decorated with my diamond dust and after i let that dry and i seal it I use this flower, and I just have one, oh, did I, oh, I'm sorry, here we go, I just want to show you what I did with this one. Um, I got this at Michael's, 
And do they have a number here? Um, I'm not sure, but it says record number 01T-0043-4511. I'm not sure if this is that ID number, but it's um, paper flower. I'm trying to see the name of it. But they look like this. They come six in a pack, and I only pay a dollar at Michael's. You know those dollar bins that they have, dollar fifty. I pay a dollar for it. And I have this for a long time. What I don't like is the green piece that they have right here, the center. So what I did, I clicked it off because I'm putting a pearl there. So I'm going to put some glue. Paste that down. You get a pearl, a flat pearl. I'm using white because I'm ran, I'm low on cream. I mean, to me, this looks a little bit the same, but it doesn't matter. They call it Mother of Pearls. Okay, so it looks like this. Very simple. And then what I did here, and I don't know if you're able to see it, these little um, flat beads that go. These are my, I call them my swat and suede. Wait, is how you pronounce it? Where is it? I had a whole lot. I'm sorry. That's that roll that I show you in my other video. Swag, swag pearls. That's what I'm going to call them. Swag, stream pearls. But they're so pretty. They have um, diamonds in the middle, which it makes it much nicer. So what I did was, so I can go around, I cut each piece. Let me, see, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six. I use six. And you're not going to watch me do all six of them. I'm just going to give you about two and three, and then I'll go off with the other one. I'm trying to make this video as short as possible. So, see, I got. I grabbed one, one um, swag, <laughs> and then I'm going to put some glue on it. I wish it could give me a good glue gun for some reason i'm not very good with the uh, glue guns you know picking them out so i'm tucking these in so it can look i mean it's going to peek out but you don't want it you don't want it all the way in because you want it to be able to have like a second flower because that's exactly what it looks like you see how i go around it i tuck in a little bit but you can also see from the outside shaping like also another flower so that's what i did uh, with this one so I just kept on going around I'll do it one more time I try not to go too close to it and once I'm finished it'll look like this okay and I also have a, I'll have a pictures on these and how I'm straining them down to hang on my Christmas tree I love this um, string here because it, it, it has a, I just had it, water. Okay, you know which one else? There we go. I have a baby. You know, the, the ones that, this one, what I like about it because it's white and it also has a shine of glitter. So it looks pretty on these ornaments. So this is what I'm using to, um, for the back end to hang, you know, to hang my ornaments. It looks like this. This way and this way. Okay, so that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of all my starfish. And I tell you guys, I wish I would have known my uh, the sixteen, um, the sixteen of my daughter's girl from helping her out, her daughter for her birth, uh, her sweet sixteen. Um, her theme is like ocean, uh, like the um. The ocean seas, the mermaid and stuff like that. So she she ordered some starfish and I saw them. I said, my God, these are big. These are four inches. And I thought that I wanted these. When I saw it, I said, this is exactly the size I wanted. You know, but I'm going to order them. So, you know, I'm going to order the big ones too. So I'm going to finish off what I have because I'm not going to kick it back. So I'll look a big difference. I just love the big ones. When she had it ordered to come to me, what I did, I used the, uh, uh, she just wanted it simple. She just wanted something in the middle. And that color that you see there is the color of her dress. 
uh, it's like an aqua blue. And, and if you see this technique, I don't know if you know about the, these glass beads, they come in a bag at a Dollar Tree. I'm sorry, Dollar, Dollar, yeah, Dollar Tree. Now, you know they usually come flat, right? Just, just clear flat. I don't even have one with me. Oh, let me show you the difference between what I'm trying to explain. Okay, you see the difference between, let me put this away so I can show you what I did. This is a real cool technique. You see the difference between this one and this one? To get that look, that practical look, and my camera looks like it's going to shut off any minute. It probably is. If it does, I'm going to have to, yeah, it looks like it's going down the batteries. But anyway, what I did is I did that crackle um, technique. I don't, I'm not sure if I have it on my video, but if you like to know how I did that, just leave a comment below, or I can just tell you right now. You put it in hot boiling in a pan, like if you're frying something, no oil, just put it in a flat pan, a nonstick flat pan, let it get hot. I'm talking about hot. Make sure you have a bowl with a bucket of ice. Water has to be ice, ice cold, and the, the glass piece got to be real, real, real hot. So when that happens, you dump it into the ice bucket, and you can actually hear it crackling. Some of them will break off. Not a lot. I was successful with a lot of them, maybe a few. But look how beautiful. So I use these. For her centerpiece, it can look like water. It looks so cool. So, you know, that's a little tip I'm sharing with you guys. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, oh, and for my seashells, I'm going to show you how I coat it and how it looks with the, um, with the diamond dust. And like I said, you have your own choice. They come in white. And they come in clear. I like the clear one because I like it to show the ends, whatever I'm using. It just looks really pretty. I don't know, to me. I mean, if I'm making like a snow thing, then I'll probably get the white one. But that case, everybody's talking about the Epsom salt. You might as well save money because I also have it in um, Epsom salt, which is in here. See, I have some already made up if I needed to, you know, get that effect. That, that effect. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to I have a little jar here with some Mod Podge. Let me get my paintbrush. And use a soft paintbrush. It doesn't matter, but just make sure, I, you know, not a, none of your good ones. So what I just did was I have glitter already, and that's okay. The glitter doesn't go because, remember, the Mod Podge, it dries very, very, it dries clear. And don't be, you know, Put a lot because these um, uh, diamond dust, they like little tiny glass. They, you don't say, so it's a little thick. So you want to be able to make sure it's stuck. So what I do is I put a lot of Mod Podge. And okay, I usually don't dip it in, but I'm going to dip it in just to show you how. Because I usually have it in a bucket. You know what, maybe if I put it in here, I'm going to see what happens. So this is what I usually do. I, I, let me push, I'm sorry, I'm off the camera again. It's so pretty. Oh, I love it. Okay, tap it. And look how pretty. If you see some spot missing, just go back on it. So I'm working on a small um, surface, so it's not a good thing. But this is what you're going to get. Look how beautiful. I don't know what shows. And then what I do is I wait till that dries up. Once that dries up, then I um, coat it again with Mod Podge just to seal it. You know what I'm saying? If you want to use a second coat to make it thicker, it's up to you. But um, this is what I do. Okay? So, and then with this seashell, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to use my pearl strings, flat pearl strings, and I'm just going to line it up. And just put a string, and it's going to be very simple. That's the only embellishment that I'm going to do for the seashells. But I just wanted to show you how I did the, that coating. I think I've got that cover. I wanted to make this short. I hope I got it covered. Um, I will definitely have um, a picture in the end of the video. I'll keep on saying that. Um, 
my next my second video uh, is going to be show and tell and give you a little how I did it with the ones that I did in the past okay so make sure you look out for that um, next video and thank you so much for watching and for the ladies that comments on my video on the ice skate you make my day each one of you I love you thank you um, I've been like wondering you know what's going on and I, I want to thank you all for um, you know, um, comment very warm uh, words, and I, you know, it just motivates me more. And hopefully, I'll get even better. But you know, thank you for watching, and have a great, blessed night. But don't forget, subscribe, thumbs up, leave a comment. <laughs> Ciao.